Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. So the past couple of days, I've told you all about going to the Packers game, Lambeau Field. I kind of lost track of the rest of the weekend. As I told you, uh, Jax's team, they were in a tournament and their first game Saturday, they won eight to nothing. The second game was an outstanding game. They won one nothing. And then on Sunday, they eventually made it to the championship game where they did lose. They were definitely bummed. They were mad, but they played well all weekend long. Now, I wasn't at that Sunday game, so you can hang the loss on me, I guess, because I drove up to Wisconsin on Saturday. And my whole drive, I was listening to the Cubs game, and it was a big one. It could probably is Kyle Hendricks' last game as a Chicago Cub. And he is the last champion standing, the last member of that 2016 Chicago Cubs team. And I just wanted so well for him to pitch well. And I'll tell you, the professor was in class that day. He pitched awesome, uh, seven and one-third innings, only a couple of hits, gave up zero runs, struck out two people. The Cubs just couldn't score for him. Eventually, Cubs did score uh, three runs in the eighth inning, or maybe even more. I, I forget what it is now, but... Kyle Hendricks, where would the Cubs be without him? He's not flashy. He's not an overpowering pitcher. You know, doesn't go out there doing a bunch of media type stuff. Just does his job and does it quietly. And he pitched some of the biggest games in Chicago Cubs history. He pitched them into the World Series against the Dodgers. And he started Game 7 of the World Series uh, against the Indians and just pitched wonderfully. I wish he would have kept on going a little bit longer in that game, but uh, definitely sad when they took Hendricks out of the game, walked him off the mound. Big shout out. My buddy, his nephew, Nico Bartlett, scored his first collegiate goal for the University of Notre Dame, and that's going to be the first of many. All right, class is in session. Today is Wednesday, October 2nd, lesson 35, and Tay goes out to Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Now, being a Cubs fan, you know, I always just respected Frank Thomas because, boy, he he could hit. And I know what Barry Berry is going to tell me here in a little bit, and I appreciate that as well. But, yeah, he was, whew, he was a player. And one of the things I remember most going back to that 2016 season was uh, the in-game stuff with Pete Rose and uh, Frank Thomas, I think Alex Rodriguez as well, talking, hitting, just wonderful stuff. All right, also in this day in history, 1942, Steve Sable was born. And unfortunately, he did pass away in 2012. But if you watch any of those old NFL videos, you know, those were all his, his idea. And if you're a kid like me, just, you know, Saturdays, Sundays during football season, watching those videos on ESPN just kind of puts a chill up your spine. All right, let's get into some cards. All right, you know the drill. Hopefully we can get a number card here. We will do a giveaway as well, but it's all in the hands of tops right now. Lefty Grove. Maybe get a number card here. We take it off camera. Oh man, we got a great number card. All right, Miguel Vargas. So here's the deal. You gotta guess the number. Closest one will win the giveaway. It's not this card. Tyler Stevenson, the other one. But look who we have right here. Ron Santo, the old third baseman. So this is out of, was it 499? Yep. Out of 499, guess what numbered Ron Santo is this? The closest two will be our winner. We'll send them some PC cards or their PC team, whatever it might be. Man, that's a good one to get. Ron Santo, definitely one of my favorite ball players. You know, working at Wrigley, I saw him uh, early on in my career selling at the friendly confines that one's not going to be number going to make sure but i uh, just you know seeing him how happy he was how joyful he was to be at the ballpark willie mays and my one regret is not asking ron for an autograph but just you know uh having two prosthetic legs and just what you know an effort it was every day and you know the fact of saying hi to him once in a while and him responding back with a thumbs up or whatever um, was worth more than an autograph could ever be. All right, Nick Prado. Oh, we got another one, don't we? Yep. Oh, man, we got two today. All right, you got two guesses at it, folks. 
That one snuck up on me a little bit. All right, we got a Carlos Santana. This one's also out of 499. Yes, it is. So for the giveaway, tell me, Ron Santo, what number is it going to be out of 499? Same thing, Carlos Santana. Tell me, Santana, what number is it out of 499? We'll have two winners. We will announce the winner on Friday. Classes dismissed.